Hello everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to upload a file to a SharePoint document library using the Copilot agent. This demonstration covers how to configure your Copilot agent to handle file uploads from the user. The process starts by prompting the user to upload their file. Once the user uploads a file, we call the Create File tool of the SharePoint connector. Make sure to upload the file into the Documents library of your connected SharePoint online site. The next step is to ask the user to provide the folder path where the file should be saved. If the folder exists, the file will be saved there. If not, you may create the folder beforehand. Ensure that the uploaded file retains its original file name. After the file is uploaded successfully, send a confirmation message along with the file link to the user. This is my folder in SharePoint. So, these are the instructions I have configured for my agent. If the user says yes, the process repeats and another file can be uploaded to the same folder. This loop will continue until the user responds with no. Let's now test this agent for file upload demo. I have initiated the chat. Then I have passed, I wanna upload my project files in this folder. Files uploaded from Copilot agent. This is the folder name in SharePoint online document library. Then it asked me to upload my file. Now I will attach my first file and ask to upload it. My file upload is being processed. We can see my create file got called and is being processed. My file has been uploaded successfully and returned the link of the uploaded file. You can see my file has been uploaded in SharePoint with the same name. Now my agent is asking, would you like to upload another file? Once I said, I'm instructed to upload another file. I have selected my another file and asking to upload this. Again, my file upload is being processed. My second file also has been successfully uploaded. We can see the file link. Now, let's go to SharePoint to verify this. Yes, once I refresh this page, I can see my second file. Similarly, I have attached my third file, and my agent has successfully uploaded it to SharePoint. You can see I am asked whether I would like to upload another file. Then, once I said yes, I am instructed to upload another file. I did that and asked to upload it. My third file also got uploaded and can see the file URL. Now I will end the file upload process by saying, no, when I am asked whether I want to upload another file. We can see all my three files have been uploaded to the same folder. Now I will end the conversation with my agent and provide feedback on how it went. Next, I will go to my create file tool configuration, how I did. To add a new tool, you need to click on the tools menu. Then, click on the Add a Tool button. Then, go to the SharePoint connector. Then, add the Create File action. This is how I have already added. Now, I will explain the configuration. This is my Create File action tool. There are three sections in the configuration. Details, Inputs and completion. Details and completion section, you can keep as is. You need to configure the inputs section. Here, you need to pass the site URL, folder path, file name, and file content. Site URL you can select from the drop down list. Then you need to provide the folder path where you want to upload your file. You can select it from the list. You can even keep this parameter with the default value, like dynamically fill with AI. For that, you need to describe the prompt explicitly in your agent instruction section. 
You can see how I have selected my custom folder for my document library. Then, you need to pass the file name parameter. You can see how I have passed. It should be in this formula format. This will ensure the file will be uploaded with the original name. Then, similarly, I have passed the file content in the formula format. You can see the file content parameter formula input. For the file name and file content, you also can keep the default value like. Dynamically fill with AI instead of a custom value. Though this didn't work for me. I tried all the ways, but every time it failed. So, I went with the custom value option. This was all about the create file tool configuration. The next thing is to configure the prompt in the agent instruction section. Basically, in the instruction section, I have instructed my agent on how this should work step by step. When a user wants to upload a file to SharePoint, prompt them to upload the file and specify. The folder path. Use the create file tool to upload the file to the documents library. Keeping the original file name intact. After each upload, confirm success and ask if they'd like to. Upload another file. Repeat this until the user says no. That's all for today's tutorial. I hope you learned something new and useful about uploading files to SharePoint using the Copilot agent. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel for more tips on Microsoft Copilot, SharePoint, Power Platform, and other Microsoft 365 technologies. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.